Well, hello, everybody. It feels like it has been forever since I sat down and actually did like one of these speaking camera type videos because it kind of has been forever. I, I can't tell you the last time that I filmed. Did I have my braids in? That was six months ago. I know I just posted that video where I got braids in and had to take them out a week and a half later. I showed you how to make cat toys out of old braids, so that was fun. But we are here today because it has been exactly one year today at the time I'm filming this since I shaved my head. So here's, this is where we are. This is a year after buzzing my head, buzzing my hair off. And I do have a video about that because I wanted to create it as a resource because before I shaved my head, maybe there was one of some guy, but I couldn't find any of a woman or a girl who had shaved their head showing the examples of the different clipper lengths. So that's what I did. So I made that video and that showed going from a six down to a two. And actually, if you want to see a side by side comparison, I just thought of this. I did these 360s in that video. So I'm going to take the clip from the number two, which is the shortest I went, which was a quarter of an inch. And I'm going to put that side by side with a little twirl that we will do right now. All right, so now let's let's talk about it. First of all, I did I did attempt to do one of those things where you take a picture a day and make a time lapse of of the hair growth or whatever change you want to show, but I think I got maybe a month in, maybe 3 weeks in of daily pictures and then I it turned into like every couple of days and then like once a week. You know, I'll just here, I'm just going to put in here what I did take. Yeah, so that last one was at least, I don't know, a couple months or more after the one before that. And that's from the day I took my braids out and my hair looked all crazy. So let's get into the logistics before I kind of take you through the whole experience. And by the way, I have, I think I put out four videos when it comes to the shaved head thing. There was a first one with me showing you, I mean, us doing it together and me shaving off my hair with you guys. And I made one explaining 10 reasons why I shaved my head and eight weird things that I didn't expect after shaving my head. And then a video about if I regretted shaving it and if I missed anything from having long hair before. So I'll make sure to link all of those videos in the description in the pinned comment below if you, if you want to catch up on what happened through this whole journey in the beginning, especially, but the logistics. So it was a quarter of an inch when I shaved it. That was the length of the buzzer that I used. And I just measured my hair before filming this with a like a industrial tape measure. And it's actually six inches long. So here's the thing, you guys, my hair, it's very, very curly. As you can see, this is just natural. This, um, I'll be honest, I haven't washed it. We're back to the, to the ways of not washing your hair every single day, which is something I did do kind of when it was shaved because it was so easy. It was just like washing your body. It was just like, Floop, and then, you know, rinse it out and it was done. But I'm basically at this point back to treating my hair how I did when it was, I mean, even super long, which is, it's kind of a con. I don't know. We're, we'll talk about it. But six inches long. That is how long my hair is right now. Actually, I here you go. Here's my little googly eye. Googly eye thing. So here's the thing. My hair, because it grows like in coils, I mean, I don't know if you can see. I'll just pick one. Like, boing. See, they just like kind of, bing. They just kind of, you know, that's 
That's how it grows. So it just, hi, Betty. I know, we're talking about my hair today. I mean, so it's growing out like this. So when we hold this up to my head, I mean, I think it's like maybe two and a half inches, something like that. Like if you just look at it, it's like, well, her hair didn't grow that much in a year. But if we do this, look at this, it comes to like, yeah, six inches. And then it goes right back into the form that it was. So my hair grew about six inches. I mean, it grew about five and three quarters inches, which I don't know. I mean, is that good? Is that slow? Is that fast? I have no idea. I haven't really looked around to see what the average is. Oh, but a week ago, just to see what would happen and and how it would look, I'll put uh, a couple of different versions, but I straightened my hair for the first time. I mean, since I shaved it just about a week ago. And so this is how long it looks if my hair was to be straight. And if it was to have grown out straight, I imagine this is kind of how it would look. I would also kind of look like a a mix between, I don't know, like old school Justin Bieber and and a K-pop boy band member. So that was kind of fun because I learned that I could put my hair back in two little pigtails like you saw and and kind of get to play with it again. So I guess that's a pro. But there's also some cons. And and to be honest, you guys, I don't know if it's just it's it's something about this time of year now, but it's it's so hot outside and oh my gosh, I don't know if you could see it on camera, but I have cat hair all over me because I made a mistake to pick one of them up before I started filming this. But anyway, so it is probably actual heat is like low 90s. But what it feels like is 100 plus. It's been that way for I want to say a couple weeks now or more. And it's 100% humidity. It is just humid. It's raining every day for a couple hours in the afternoon. And it is so hot. And I just now have the memory. I now have that experience of knowing what a shaved head is like. And I'll be honest, every single day, I, I feel like for the past month, I have been thinking about shaving my head again. And it was the same feeling that I had last year that I kind of like would wait on for for a little bit to see if it lingered. And it did. And so I shaved it. But I kind of really, really really want to do it again. And then I actually went back and watched my video for the first time or the couple of videos when it was freshly shaved. And I honestly, I really loved how it looked. I feel like it suited me. I feel like it added that automatic element of style. It was so easy. I guess I'll get into another pro and con is a couple of months ago, I started shedding to where you can clog the shower drain again. And that's so annoying to where you know, you wash your hair and get to the point where it's like, you got to take that extra time to take it off your fingers and like stick it on the wall to take off when you're done showering and throw away or whatever. Oh, and that I didn't miss. It's just one of those little things that like, it might not be a big deal, but until you don't have any hair to do that, until you shave your hair off, you don't realize that that's just annoying. That is just one of those annoying little things that you just don't want to deal with. Like, I don't want to deal with it. Plus I'm, you know, just shedding like how I used to kind of seeing my hair on the floors. I Swiffer every day, especially during the summer, because the cats shed so much more during the summer, you know, then I'm now I'm seeing my curly little hairs all over the place and I'm sweeping those up. And that is just, oh, it was so nice to not have to worry about that. Never mind the heat and all of these things are, I feel like are things that I spoke about in, in those videos I said, I'll link below. Well, let me get more into the, I guess, the timeline of how things went up until this point. So I loved the fresh buzz. I was really pleasantly surprised at how much I loved it and just how much it. I felt like I could pull it off, like it suited me. And like I was just talking about a lot of the functionality of it, it was just get up and go, no shedding, not having to worry about washing it, not having to worry about conditioning so much or at all. I mean, like I said, right now I'm For the past, I would say the past month, two months, I've been getting back into the former routine I had with the washing, the deep conditioning, maybe an oil treatment here or there, you know, putting uh, some kind of curl cream or moisturizing whatever on it. It's, It's back to taking care of my hair. And again, is that a huge deal? Do a lot of people mind that? Absolutely not. But again, once you have the experience of not having to deal with that, I mean, oh, it just 
makes you want to shave your head again. But I digress yet again. So I loved it for the first couple of weeks, definitely. And then it was all right, I would say, until about a month, month and a half. And then from the month, month and a half point until probably close to five, six months, I just didn't know what to do with it. It was too short to put up. The texture of my hair, like I couldn't really, I don't know. I, I would started using this um, matte wax that was awesome. I think it was marketed for men and even like short hair to style and maybe even like beards and stuff, but it was awesome. And I still have plenty left. I, sh I should actually probably finish using it. I could still use it on my hair at this length. And at six months is when I got those braids that I was talking about. I'll put a little picture right here. So make sure to check out that video that was posted probably a couple weeks ago. But again, <laughs> it was from six months ago. I was a little behind catching up and that was an experience. And I would honestly love to get those again still. If anything, I would get them in the winter. Maybe I'd play with that idea again. And then from like, I would say from six to eight months, maybe eight or nine months, I just didn't know like what I kind of start putting it up in these little pigtail poofs, but I would have to use a lot of clips to keep all the hair up. It wasn't until maybe about a month ago that I could kind of put it all up with a headband on, put it all up in a little like poof ponytail up top and the headband would hold everything and then a couple of clips. It's slowly getting to a point where I could play with it more and more. I will say, I think at about maybe eight months, eight or nine months, I managed to put in these clip-in hair extensions that I, I've had for years. I kind of clipped them in and then did two of my go-to uh, pigtail like French braids. If I have a picture of that, I'll, I'll put it in somewhere around here. It looked a little bit rough, to be honest, but I mean... It wasn't that bad. So that was kind of fun. And around that time too, so around the seven, eight month mark, I would say somewhere around there, I could feel my hair blowing around in the wind when I was like driving with the windows down, which you don't realize like, oh, like I haven't felt that in a while. Like you kind of feel it around your ears and stuff. So that was kind of cool. But the short version all in all in the phases I went through, I would say at first I would say it was definitely like a Furiosa from Mad Max Fury Road type thing happening. And then it progressed into what I can only describe as me looking like my brother through most of his teenage years and uh, young adulthood. And then I kind of felt like I looked like myself as a toddler. And, and this was strongly confirmed by my mother. And then we got into this, I can only describe it, I don't know why, but it reminded me of like Ralph Macchio, like kind of a Ralph Macchio kind of grown out 80s poofy, but not exactly curly look, or maybe maybe like Joe Pesci from, maybe the entire cast from My Cousin Vinny, uh, at least the, the males anyway, that is what my hair represented at that next phase of maybe around the like three, four month mark. Then... I got into a very strong kind of back and forth phase for a couple of months between Bruno Mars and Jean Ralphio from Parks and Rec. It was really funny. I mean, it still does this now, but I sleep with a, a sleep mask on. So when I'd get up in the morning and take it off, it would just be all poof up here and like flat on the sides. And then as it started to kind of get bigger and, and curlier and round out, and it depends on the day. I, my hair, if you have curly hair, you know, like maybe you don't, but your hair can tell the weather. I can get up in the morning and before I even know what the weather is, according to what my hair is doing, I'm like, it's going to rain today or it's going to be a dry one out there. That never happens in Florida. So at this point, nine, 10 months of since I shaved it. So a couple of months ago, I would say it was kind of a hybrid between Richard Simmons and Richard Pryor. I mean, it was just, we're, we're starting to grow out here. We're starting to fill out. We're starting to get the poof going. At this point where we are today, I, I basically represent myself 20 years ago, almost. We're getting there. I mean, I guess it's kind of nostalgic for me, but again, there was some rough patches on this journey in this past year when it came to what's what's happening on my head. If I had to go back and shave my head again or, or not shave my head again, would I have done it? Of course. Yeah, I definitely would have. Like I said, it, if anything, oh, here's the thing. Here's another reason why I 
am not going to shave it again just yet. Deep down, I feel like I know if I do shave it again, I'm not, I don't think, I don't think I'm going to ever grow it out again. Things change. I say that now. I don't know, but that's just a feeling that I have when it comes to everything going on here. And don't get me wrong. I, I like it. I like my hair. I, maybe it's just, yeah, I would just go and watch those videos where I talk about the things I noticed that, that I really liked and the things I wasn't expecting and all that, because again, it all still holds true. And when I finally went back and watched those videos just a couple of days ago, it's almost like I resold myself on it because I'm like, oh, she's right. So yeah, I guess all that being said, have any of you guys, are you thinking of shaving your head? I know before when I was thinking about it, and like I said, trying to look for the video showing the different clipper lengths and what they would look like, I came across videos like this where people shared their their hair length and how much it grew and whatever one year later. I mean, I feel like some people do it monthly, like month one, month two. And yeah, I, I totally didn't do that. But it was helpful to me to see because, you know, still I didn't see anyone with my hair texture. So hopefully this helps someone out there who has similar hair texture to mine and to give you an idea of what it might look like a year later. And you saw what it would look like if you straightened it, which is actually, I mean, it's kind of mullet-ish but it's pretty long. And I clearly, I mean, needless to say, I have not trimmed it. I haven't cut it. I haven't done anything to my hair. The only thing that I did was straighten it that one time. But yeah, it grew about six inches. Do I miss the shaved head? Yes. Am I going to shave it again? I, mm, you guys, I don't have any plans to. I see this as a challenge sort of because I do really want to shave it again, but I also just want to see how long it takes to kind of get to the length it was before. But, it, you know, in a weird way, I don't look forward to it. It's just so much maintenance. I don't know. I like being super low maintenance. <laughs> you can feel free to give me your opinion below and what you think. Go back and watch the video of when I freshly shaved it and all the other ones. And, and check out videos over the past year where I did show my face. And you can see the progress of, of what it did along the way. But my favorite phases were definitely the first two weeks that... Mad Max Fury Road, Charlize Theron, awesome, bold look. And second to that, I would say it's probably right now. <laughs> All right, this video is already way longer than I expected to make it, but I hope that you found it interesting or helpful. If you did, please click the thumbs up below and please remember to comment below and let me know what brought you here. If you plan on shaving your head, if you did already and you're growing it out and you're kind of getting impatient and want to see how long it will take to get to whatever length, especially if you have like curly hair like mine that just kind of springs back Boing. I will say this, if you did shave your head and you're feeling any kind of regret from it and you're you're feeling like maybe you shouldn't have, please don't, you guys. You, whoever is watching this thinking that, it's going to be fine. It grows out really fast. Time goes by really quickly. I feel like most people just get really excited when it's long enough to, to do something with again, which is true. Again, I started to like not be so like, oh, what is this? When I was able to kind of mess with it and do random stuff again. But at the same time, when it's just freshly buzzed and shaved off, it is what it is. You don't even have to worry about that. So by the way, if you're new to this channel, welcome. I should have said this in the beginning, but my name is Jasmine. And on this channel, I share things like this, things having to do with cat stuff, especially feline nutrition, raw cat food, and cute kitty videos. And things for humans, like workouts, recipes, random DIYs, random videos like this, and honestly, whatever else I feel like posting. So if you want to be part of the Cat Lady Fitness family, please make sure to click that subscribe button. You can also hit that little bell icon to get notified whenever new videos go up. And you can also find us on Facebook at Cat Lady Fitness if you want to see super cute cat pictures basically every day, probably multiple times a day, because that's mainly all I do there. And by the way, if you haven't gotten it already, I got it back there. We have a coloring book. It is called the coolest cat coloring book for humans of all ages. You can get it off Amazon worldwide. And don't forget, I also have a number of books for humans as well. And some are even translated to Spanish and you can find those on Amazon or the websites linked in the description below as well. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.